We're here with Western Washington University head basketball coach Tony Dominguez after a 107 to 81 victory over Capilano. Coach, what stuck out for you on the uh, on the box score and just overall your synopsis of your team's performance today, especially in the second half? Well, yeah, I mean, the second half was good. I think that, uh, as I talked about all week, we kind of got in a rhythm. We've been playing some very difficult teams, and I think they looked at this opponent as somebody they didn't have to get up for like they did last week and the last couple weekends. So I knew that our focus would be an issue, and it was. Our first half was pretty rough. Um, you know, Thanksgiving, and just without giving a whole lot of excuses, it is what it is. I just didn't think we had great focus. Um, halftime, we chatted about that, and I felt like we did a good job in the second half. We found the right combination of guys that were that were focused, that were playing defense, because we are gifted offensively almost through the you know through the roster. Um, but I, I was very pleased with our defensive effort in the second half. You know, a lot of guys get out there and score. Twelve guys on the box score. I'll put up points, but a couple guys gave some really good minutes, especially in the second half. Elijah Cotton Welch, Tucker Enningenberg. And KJ Bosco really kind of came out and yeah. set a career, I mean, a season high for points. Well, you know, KJ had that knee surgery, and we knew that recruiting him. We thought he'd be back a little sooner than he was. Um, and he had a hard time just kind of getting in the rhythm once he got healthy a couple weeks ago. And so I thought tonight was really good for him because we're going to need him. He's a weapon that, you know, a healthy knee a year ago is, you know, a high level player. And now I think he's kind of, tonight will really help his confidence and help us get in, into the rotation. Um, Elijah's always a good, you know, he's a defender and a shooter. Um, it's been tough with our guys and how well they've been playing and getting certain minutes, but Eli is definitely a guy that um, I'm excited for, did a great job. Um, and then Tucker, you know, we've just been waiting for him also. He came in a little, I don't know if out of shape, it was just transfers have a hard time. Transfers and freshmen, um, it takes them a little bit of time to adjust to the situation, the system, different location. He was having a hard time adjusting. And I feel like, again, this week starting to feel more and more comfortable. And that this is, tonight was more what we're, gonna, we're hoping for you know, throughout the season. And so excited for him, for sure. You talked a lot about the depth of this team and the rotations that guys can come off the bench and, and put up big minutes and big points. But how, how, how key is it for a game like this to see them produce and also, like you said, build their confidence a little bit? Well, when you look at things, the glass is half full. Um, I, obviously, I could harp about our defense for a while because we've been playing pretty solid defense, and tonight was a little different in the first half. However, the positives are KJ got going. RJ Seacrest came out and showed that he could run some guard and point guard for us, and um, you know his defense and toughness and strength that was good. So I think there's a lot of positives that came out of our lackadaisical performance from our starters. Um, and so without you know dragging them down because they've done such a good job, you know build up our bench for sure. They did a real nice job. Perfect. Coach, you guys have one more game tomorrow. You guys play Longara at 2 p.m., and then you're right into GNAC play. Uh, just looking to have another solid defensive performance tomorrow <laughs> and, and to, to head into GNAC play? Yeah, you know, that was our goal for this evening. So hopefully this rang true that you can't, you know, look past any opponent, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll come out full strength on defense tomorrow, get that ball moving, and then uh, be ready for GNAC for sure. Perfect. Thanks for visiting us, Coach. Congratulations on the win. All right, appreciate it.